Hey, welcome back to Hostify, my name's Alex, and today we're going to be looking at Unify Mobile Router version 1.6.3. We first reviewed the mobile router last month, we've got a video live on the channel now that explains everything you need to know about the Unify Mobile Router, what it does and all the features. However, 1.6.3 was released about 9 or 10 days ago, and it brings support for OpenVPN client. This means you can connect your UMR back to your home network using OpenVPN, as well as turning the Wi-Fi on and off from the touchscreen and also turning the VPN on and off via the touchscreen. So in this video, we're going to look at how to configure an OpenVPN client on the Unified Mobile Router and how to connect it back to a UDMSE and UXG Pro. So the next thing we need to do to get the OpenVPN client working is to update the UMR to the latest version. So my UMR is currently on 1.5.4 and we need to update to 1.6.3. So we're going to do that now. And we'll come back once that's done. So now that the UMR is up to date, we've now got the open VPN feature. So if we go to the settings section of the Mobility Cloud, we've now got a VPN client option. You can also get to this section if you go to the device. So if we just click on the device, click on settings, we've also now got the on and off switch for the VPN. So we can create a new VPN client to reach your internet traffic through a VPN provider or server. So you could connect this to a privacy focused VPN service, um, or you can connect it back to a UXG Pro or UDM Pro or SE, or actually any other Unify OS console with a built-in gateway. So we're actually gonna make the new OpenVPN client. So go to settings and VPN client. So the, the only thing they're gonna support for now is OpenVPN, so WireGuard is not yet supported. Uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna be a feature that's gonna be coming soon, but at the moment, as of recording, it's not yet supported. Uh, so we need to give it a username and password, also upload a configuration file and then the give it a name as well. So I'm going to jump back to my UDMSE. So you can get to this page by going to settings and then teleport and VPN. And what we can do is make a new VPN server. So if I click on VPN server, I've got WireGuard VPN, OpenVPN, and then L2TP. If I click on OpenVPN, it's going to auto-define uh, itself from WAN1. In this case, it's actually a public IP address. And then what you can do is make a username and password. I've got username and password already in here. And then you can download the config file once you've created it. So I'm going to add this uh, OpenVPN server. It's got the public IP there and how many active, active clients there are. And this will take a few minutes to sort of get going back there. It's still generating the, the key for that, or the file. So after a few minutes, we can now check if the OpenVPN server has got the file ready for us. So if we go into the OpenVPN server on the UDMSE, we can now see that we've got a configuration file to download. So I'm going to download that file now. And that should be in my downloads folder. Next thing to do is go back to the mobility.ui.com website and add the VPN configuration for the Unify mobile router. Go down to settings, go to VPN client, and we can add our details. So if we upload the configuration file first, myopenvpnserver.ovpn, and then upload that file, and then name openvpn. Then I'm going to add the username and password we've got set in the UDMSE, so we can connect to the VPN server. Click on save and the VPN will get active. So if we go back to devices, click on the UMR again, click on settings and scroll down and we've got a VPN section here called connect to VPN. So if we click on that and it will actually now connect to the, the VPN on the UDM SE. So it's now connecting to the, the VPN and it's now active with the server IP address. If we look at the screen on the UMR, it will now show that there's a VPN active. So the next thing we're going to do is connect our mobile device to the UMR and see if the VPN works. So I've got my iPhone here connected to my main Wi-Fi network. I can see the UMR SSID listed in the list. So if I click on this, enter in the password I set earlier. So we're going to connect to the UMR and see what IP address we pick up. So I've just gone to the website, what is my IP address? And it's picked up a carry grade NAT IP from the 3 network, which is the SIM card that's in the UMR at the moment. If I go back on the website, mobility.ui.com and click on connect to VPN, the VPN should connect back to my UDMSE, and we'll be able to see what IP address comes up from that. Click Apply Changes, wait for the VPN to connect. We're going to refresh the page and see what happens on here. So the VPN is now connected on the UMR. We've now got a IP address for my home network, and the VPN is successfully routing itself through the network. If I try and get to one of my devices, that's on my private network, my Stellar Point, for example, uh, that's 192.168.11.8. I'm now able to log into my Stellar Point, that's on my home network. So I'm going out via my three network coming into my main ISP at the house. I'm about to log into my cellar point over the internet. Okay, that's been a look at the Unify Mobile Router version 1.6.3, as well as the open VPN client support that Ubiquiti has recently added. Thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex. If you want to learn more about Hostify, have a look at the website at hostify.com. We do hosting for Unify, UISP, and TP-Link Armada. You can contact our consulting team, Hostify Pro, at hostify.com forward slash pro, and you can hire an engineer to help with your project today. If you've got any questions about Unify, UISP, or TP-Link Armada, let our support team know at support at hostfile.com and someone will be happy to help you out. Once again, thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex and we'll see you again next time.